everyone, today we're going to talk about the proper way of segregation of our waste material. There are two kinds on how to segregate our waste. We have the biodegradable waste, ito yung mga nabubulok, and the non-biodegradable waste, ito naman yung mga hindi nabubulok. Waste segregation means keeping the dry waste from the wet waste separately so that the dry waste can be recycled and the wet waste can be composed. As we know, biodegradable waste or any organic matter which can easily be broken down naturally by water, oxygen, the sun's rays, radiation, and microorganisms. Few examples of these biodegradable waste are fruits, vegetable peels, wood, dry leaves, leftover food, and a lot more. These are other examples of biodegradable waste. Well, the non-biodegradable waste are those which cannot be decomposed or degraded by natural agents. And a few examples of these are plastics, bottles, broken glass, and cans, and a lot more. These are other examples of non-biodegradable waste. Now let me show you how to practice the proper segregation of waste. First, prepare separate garbage bins for our biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Then, of course, we have to also put two separate plastics on it to contain our waste and to avoid any spill from our wet waste. Another thing, if we have any space in our backyard wherein we can make some compost pit, much better to do so, so we can have our biodegradable waste turn into organic fertilizer to our plants or vegetables. It is important to segregate our waste material so in this simple way of reducing, reusing, and recycling, we are helping our environment and our surroundings to be more cleaner and safe. We are also reducing pollution in air, land, and water, which contributes a big help in maintaining good public health. By this, we are also sharing our part in protecting our Mother Earth, right? So let's do our part even in these simple ways. So that's it. Thank you and have a good day.